I'm going to do my serpentine belt uh, tension around my truck. I was going to do it yesterday, but um, the uh, I didn't have the correct tools. I needed like a a better like half inch drive wrench. So uh, I'm going to do that today, right now, and then later I'm going to pick up a dump trailer because this weekend I'm doing my backyard. I know everybody's been like, oh yeah, your backyard, uh, it looks uh, like crap. And that's that's true because, uh, you know, I, I uh, did my sewer and then I uh, pretty much just have been waiting to be able to find a dump trailer that I could rent the same time I rent a skidster because I have to, uh, I'm going to do road base pretty much wherever there's not grass. Um, I need to probably water that grass because, uh, you know, I, I don't have sprinklers or anything and I really haven't been worrying about it. Once it's, uh, all this is road base, I'll uh, throw some more seed down and actually stick to like a other, every other day watering schedule so it actually grows and looks good. But what I'm pretty much gonna do is uh, I'm going to cut this down like half a foot uh, throughout the whole backyard, take all that dirt over to my grandma's house because this is uh, decent dirt. It's not. Uh, it's a lot better because the out and up, out where her house is, it's uh, more clay. So uh, I'm going to take this dirt over there, uh, take all the trash to the dump. Um, after, like, I'm, after I'm done, I'll just load up the dump trailer, and then Monday, I'll take that that trash. Tomorrow I'm going to take all the, the scrap metal that's just kind of like lingering around in the back. So I'll throw all that in the dump trailer and uh, take it to the scrap yard. So yeah, it's going to be not really that big of a project uh, with a skidster. Uh, just wham bam and then I'll fill in this hole finally and re-concrete it. So my backyard is going to be all finished and then I just want to get this um tensioner done because it was being mad last night uh well it's been being mad it's been making noise but it's definitely uh i'm hoping it's a tensioner but it, it kind of seems like it is so it's kind of been getting worse and yeah we'll we'll see what happens i'm actually going to <laughs> kind of sucks because I'm gonna to have to do it in my uh, in the sun so I, I could take it over to the shop and do it I just So I could take it over to the shop, but the thing is, is uh, I really don't want to drive anymore on the, the old tensioner because it kind of seems like it's at that point. Uh, and since the, the serpentine belt does run the water pump, I think it runs the water pump. Uh, I don't want to take that chance with it uh, to snap off and then the truck overheat. So I'm going to do that really quick, hopefully, uh, because it's it's like 10 o'clock and it, I think it's supposed to be like 100 today so I'm going to start doing that. Uh, I don't have a stand so I probably won't do a time lapse but I'll probably do um, maybe a little bit of video. So I have the uh, radiator shroud kind of, I have one of them out and the other one pulled back. So there's the, the one that says power stroke. Here's the other one held on by 15 mils and uh, then all I need to do is put a half inch in that tensioner since the uh, lock broke to uh, undo the belt and then I will um, pull the bolts out because it's going to extend all the way. There's no lock in it anymore because it broke off. So I'm uh, going to do that really quick. I know there's no time lapse, but I'll be doing other stuff today. So hopefully that makes up for it. Got the new tensioner on. I think uh, the tensioner definitely need to be replaced, but it looks like the idler is also uh, the, it's the one that is probably making the noise because it has some uh, side to side play but yeah the new tensioner's on i'm going to order this and then uh, i'm going to bolt all this back on 
or that idler and then uh, go ahead and do it maybe later tonight. We'll see what happens if they have it in stock. They have this one in stock, so hopefully. And then we'll see if that noise goes away. But I'm guessing with all that in and out play, it's definitely uh, that idler making the noise. Uh, the tensioner definitely, though, needed to be replaced uh, because it's, I don't know, it has a lot of miles on it and everything. So it's just a nice precaution. And uh, yeah, I'm going to bolt that shroud back on, put that shroud back in, put some coolant in it, throw the jug of coolant in the truck, uh, and then I need to go do some things. I'll go to Ford. I got, I ordered that uh, expansion valve for the AC system so I could put that in and hopefully I could charge it and it'll work now. And then I also need to go to the junkyard and get some uh, diff stuff but we'll see uh, what happens with that because uh, it's like trying to find some diffs that uh, I'm sure they have some, but it's gonna, there's a lot of like truck frames, so. Back together, I just need to add some coolant and then start it up and make sure it's at the correct level and everything. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna probably go to the junkyard. Well, I'll take a shower first and then go to the junkyard. Um, also, I need to figure out where the that expansion valve is in here. I'm guessing it's probably right there, is what I'm thinking, because that kind of looks like uh, a prime location because you can kind of pull this off right there, maybe. Yeah, but I'll uh, definitely see if that's it or not. But yeah, uh, I'm glad this is done. I'm gonna go to Ford. They have that expansion valve there for me. And then when I'm there, I'll just order that uh, idler pulley just because it needs to be done. And I don't feel like having, like throwing a belt, like I said before. At least I got one of the two uh, things that pretty much control the serpentine belt uh, fixed. So uh, yeah, let me throw some coolant in this thing and then uh, give her the bleed. All right, give her the good old walk to the parts store because, you know, I don't want to drive my truck with a little bit of coolant missing so you know kind of walking around it's like a like a mile and a half so not too bad probably go buy a loaf and jug and get me a drink because uh you know i'm thirsty the guy i guess needed to go back and get the key but this is the trailer i'm running and uh gonna be able to do some remove like the dirt that I don't need in my backyard and some of the other stuff that I don't need that's sitting in my backyard so yeah that will be nice and then uh you know I could uh get the uh road base down oh and then I just got the idler pulley and let me grab it the Ford. so I think this thing is what's making noise uh, it kind of quieted it down a little bit just by replacing the, the tensioner, but I think this also makes noise. And then I got the uh, expansion valve too, so hopefully uh, it stops making all that squealing noise when I uh, give her a rip. Playing musical cars today. Uh, I got the dump trailer of my truck. Now I'm gonna go, oh, I don't know, I don't really want to get the BMW dirty because it looks like it's gonna be all stormy and stuff, and I just washed it and cleaned it so yeah I guess but yeah I need to uh, take uh, some go to the shop and do some stuff so and I don't want to have to tow that dump trailer around I guess I could disconnect it but I don't know it's kind of a hassle because I'll have to reconnect it in the morning and I don't have uh, another lock. I'd have to use the one off my car trailer. And then, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. I'm not sure. But I'm going to be sad because it's going to rain on the BMW. And I'm going to have to wash it again. No!